Hi there! This is Austin with Made Central, and today we're going to be taking a look at the latest update to Made Central that was released on March 28th, 2024. This release is smaller in scope than our February update, but is still packed with awesome enhancements, so stay tuned. We'll start out with our two main highlights for this release. First up, have you ever noticed a new tip amount on an invoice but couldn't easily track down who made the change? Well, we've taken the guesswork out of that process and added a new feature to help track tip edits. Moving forward, editing a tip from one of the following places will now create a contact ticket for that job, stating that the tip was updated from X to Y. Those locations are the Invoicing and Job Records Report, the Customer Portal View Invoice, changing the tip directly from the invoice as an admin, as well as scorecards, skips, and lockouts. With this update, we'll now see contact tickets in the Notes tab for that customer, which we can use as an audit log to better track and manage tips. Next up, job schedules will now display the availability highlight based on more than one shift. Let's take a quick look at that. From our job schedule, we can now easily see when two technicians on the same team have split schedules. We can tell that Taylor here works from 8.30 to 3 p.m. and Tom works from 3.30 to 7 p.m. because we can see the break in the highlight here. This should help companies keep better tabs on technician availability when there is more than one technician per team. Next up, we have a handful of feature enhancements, first of which we've added a field or company name to the leads and quotes, which is very useful for quoting new commercial clients. Next, from the job edit pop-up, you're now able to manually create an additional pay item that will be attached to that job. And next up, recurring rate mods will now allow you to change their end dates as long as that end date is in the future. And lastly, a new column has been added for the Modify Rates pop-up and the Rates tab in the service set. This new column displays the type of the rate mod that was used. And that is it for this month's release. Uh, if you appreciated this video, please do consider giving it a like. And if you want to stay up to date on all our latest updates and educational materials, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a ton and it's totally free. This has been Austin with Made Central. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next one.